not good afternoon. I'm the one that has the privilege of uh, walking alongside other people as they come on pilgrimage. So um, that's, a, that's a wonderful thing for me, and my heart has been strangely warmed um, by those things. What I'm going to do today is just um, give you a few practicalities, actually, of how you might go on pilgrimage with all your churches. I'm going to talk about the five things that are here, uh, just very briefly. And so making a cathedral, well, I'm encouraging all of you to make a pilgrimage to the cathedral this coming year. But you've got to choose the length, the <coughs> timing for that, and we can give you maps and guidance. <coughs> These are the things that have been working. This is a kind of timetable that some people would like. Um, starting in the morning, uh, gathering together, then perhaps just a reflective walk around the cathedral. After that, there are options. Then, if you've made the effort to come all the way to St. David's, stay with us a long time. Come to Evensong, then go and have a supper in the refectory, and then even stay for the sunset. It's well worth it. That timetable doesn't work for everyone. Some of you might take a whole morning to get to us. So there's an, an opportunity for the afternoon. Uh, lots of things to do within the cathedral. You don't have to be out and about. Some people choose to be with us for a lot longer. And so they come and stay in and around Tivawi and then spend three days. That gives us opportunity to really delve deeply and have conversations with people, to give some teaching at Tiapurari and also to be out and about uh, doing touristy things and doing pilgrim things. <coughs> so what can you do? You're coming from the north. You might like to do this. Um, and this one is seven miles long and it will take you the day. Uh, to get there, but it offers the most glorious views, and last week there were seal clubs. If you're coming by car, you might want to do something that's circular so you can add, end up at your car again, and so this is a five bar journey. I have lots of these, um, and so you don't have to make up the route yourself, I've got them. If you want to really push out the boat or get on the walking boat, 31 miles in three days with a company called Journeying and then made the way of St. David, uh, coming from Fishguard all the way into St. David's. Those of you who are in the south, uh, again, a day's journey from Solva, or maybe something that circular around which church that you can park your cars. Again, there are many of these routes, and it offers these kind of views. But most often I get asked, what's the shortest route? <laughs> <laughs> and so this is my Friday pilgrimage. This happens most often during the holiday times. It's just 1.8 miles, and we take it really slowly. It takes us two hours uh, to discuss and pray. And that's the steepest bit of it, so uh, you've seen it here, it is doable. <clears throat> or maybe you only want to go half a mile, and you can go around the cathedral close. This is fairly flat, you can do it in your wheelchair, and you can come to the river, wash your feet, and then go back again. Or maybe you just want to have a pilgrimage around our community garden. Uh, there are um, stations there that you can use. Or we can write some specifically for your group. Or perhaps you want to do a vast pilgrimage, 161.6 miles from Wexford to Pembrokeshire. This is the new uh, Wexford-Pembrokeshire Pilgrim Way uh, from uh, Ferns in Ireland to St. David's. And you walk in the footsteps of St. Aidan and St. David. There are non-walking options. Uh, the Kitchell family, most of you, I guess, will know these from the cathedral, uh, started uh, a cycle route which is 18 miles circular. Or maybe you'd like to do it on public transport. Um, there's a, a route there with guidance so that you can make your own way uh, around. But then 
you might not come to St David's. You might want to use this opportunity to make a pilgrimage in your own place. And so I suggest that you choose places of real significance for you and your community so you can tell your story. Um, I've got a fair few of these as well. So Ferryside, I have a pilgrimage uh, for them using, of course, uh, the main part of their, uh, their green uh, tells the story of the fishermen. Um, and then there are, there's a school and the bridges, there are various um, locations that you would want to visit. Uh, just even rocks and the low tide can tell a story and bring you to prayer. Perhaps you can't leave home, but you still want to go on pilgrimage with your churches together. And so you can buy one in the cathedral <coughs> shop, you can buy a bag with all the resources that you might need. So these are going to be written resources and uh, artifacts and also an, um, a USB that's called a pilgrimage in your pocket. Um, or maybe that there's something that they can download if they haven't got uh, a laptop. So all those resources will be available for you. Please do make use of the things that will come to you with a pilgrimage uh, theme at Advent and also at Lent. Maybe choose uh, moments within your own church uh, calendar that will be really helped by the theme of pilgrimage. And then there are opportunities for everyone, so there are particularly uh, for children and young people. Uh, there's always holiday activities that you can take part in and uh, encourage your local schools to take up the pilgrim projects. Uh, these start in January and then they can make visits and pilgrimages to the cathedral during the year. And then the youth pilgrimage, we, we did a trial one of these this year and uh, we're willing and ready to do an, one next year. On the back of your um, leaflet that you've got, I've just done a few basic things that are there. That we will add things as time goes on. But I just want to draw your attention today to uh, two dates. These are Saturday the 22nd of July when we're hoping to hold a whole diocesan gathering in order that we can have an reenactment of pilgrims coming from the sea. Uh, that might be Porthgain, uh, it might not. You might even want to make a whole weekend of it and arrive on Friday night. And then Sunday the 23rd, when together we'll make a large pilgrimage uh, along the coast path. This will be about seven miles, but you can join it for the last one mile if you feel you can't do the whole seven miles, and followed by a, a service in the cathedral. I'm working with the British Pilgrimage Trust and we're trialling a, a, a way in which we can get a large number of pilgrims all walking together. <laughs> uh, you will want to um, find all these resources, so everything I've talked about today and more. I, I can't tell you how many things there are and how many ways we can help you, but go to this on our website, look for Pilgrimage 2023, and there will be lots of things there for you. Just keep talking to me, get in touch, and then we can work out what you and your congregations and your community uh, can do together. Thank you, Thank you very much.